Okay guys, so today's video, I'll be teaching you three ways or three steps you can use to create your own baseline, okay? So if you're finding it difficult to create your own baseline, you should try and watch this video to the end so that you don't miss anything I want to show you today, okay? If you're new to this YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like. So without wasting much of your time, let's begin with the breakdown. <laughs> Okay, so imagine um, I'm a beginner and let's say I'm in your shoes. I want to create a bass line, maybe for a song or maybe for a sound check or my own personal stuff. I'm going to show you three steps for me on what I use to create bass lines. Okay, you should grab a bass and let's begin with a lesson. Exercise on key G. Okay, your key G. Your first step is your skills. You know that in bass guitar, you have various types of skills. When it comes to music, there are many types of skills. But what normally we use is the major, the minor, um, all those pentatonic skills, even those Chinese and Indian skills. <laughs> there are types of skills you can use. Okay. So, as a beginner, we need to focus on the major skills for now okay so if you now go to the next level you can now go to the minor skill the, the durian skills and all those kind of skills okay so first let's see the skills we will be using to create a baseline so you will use the major skills that is your g major you have the do we need Okay. Okay. So this is the first step on creating your own baseline on a song, or let's say a, a, a checkup or something. Okay. Second is what progression are you playing? What progression are you using, and that's your bass groove. Okay. So you need to sit up with that. Okay. So your first is your skill. The second is your progression. When it comes to music, there is progression. You understand? You just can't take your bass and be playing anything and you see there is no progression. Even if it is a la, it is a progression. Okay? So, let's say you will be playing um, this progression. La. That is your six. In the fa. That is your your four and your me that is your three so it goes like this okay so now we have seen the skill we will be using and the progression are la fa mi okay so you've come up with this progression or this progression is in a song the third steps on how sometimes I create my bass line is using your, let's say, your root and octave to groove. For me, I call it the octave groove. That is, use your root and your octave to groove in any root you are, even if you are in your la. Okay, even if you are on your fi. Okay, just use it, you understand. So now we have gotten our skills, we know our progression. So now let's use the root and octave to groove. Okay, by using this uh, root and octave to groove, you need to first focus on the drum side. You know that every drum comes with its own groove, you understand. So let's say you'll be looking at a funky rig. Um, Let's say you want to create the bass line for now. So let's say I'm going to use my metronome. My metronome is here. Okay. My metronome is set on 104. You can use that too. So let's say on my la. You see? 
you see i am using my roots and octave to groove so just check it out go <laughs> Okay, so I'm on my la. Now to my fa. You see? You see that I have created something cool. So now you have created your groove, something like this. You see? So, la, 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 la. Fa, fa. so now you have gotten an idea on what to play, as in the root and the octave groove. You get it? So, in this octave groove, or let's say the root and octave. Maybe you know of any fills, you know of any technique, you know of any licks, you know of any runs, just to put in to make your groove or your bass line sweet, okay? So let, let me see what I can do. Okay, you see that I wasn't playing the octave, the root and octave only. I was adding something like the passing note, the lick, and something just to make it more cool. Okay, you can be using something like this. So you see something like that, I'm adding some cool stuff into the baseline okay so with these three steps your skills your progression and your roots and octave just screw with that and it give you more ideas it will even help you to create your own legs yeah so maybe you're on the la okay so you just need to take time it is very very easy when you take time to check on this stuff okay so this is the three steps you can use to create your own baseline very very easy if you're a beginner okay so trust me and work on it very well thank you so i'll see you guys later bye for now